Hi guys and welcome to a Disney solo park day and travel day. everyone what is up and welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Brianna and welcome to a fun solo Disney day at Hollywood Studios plus our travel day home so Corey and I my fiance is back here but he is actually working for the day but I took the day off because I wanted to spend a fun solo Disney day in the parks because I thought it could be really fun I've enjoyed solo Disney days in the past I did one before when I was waiting for Corey to get here back in May of this past year of 2024 and it was so fun so I was like you know what I'm gonna do a another solo Disney day. Corey's gonna work for the day and then we're gonna fly out tonight. So what do we have on the docket today? Hollywood Studios is the park that we're going to. Very excited. I find that park to be very fun to just relax. The wait times are long for rides but they're not super long necessarily for shows and I can pin trade and I can snack around and just enjoy all the sights and things. So that is what I'll be doing today is heading to Hollywood Studios. We're gonna see Brandon because he is working today at Tatooine Trader. So I'm gonna go visit a friend and Corey's gonna meet me for lunch. We're probably gonna do either ABC Commissary or Woody's, probably ABC Commissary because it's inside and in air conditioning. So welcome to a fun little solo Disney day and travel day vlog at the same time. If you're new, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Join our fun little corner of the internet around here. We travel to Disney a ton, we travel the world a ton, and I do a lot of just fun lifestyle content. So welcome in, we're a chaotic, Fun bunch around here, so welcome. Welcome to the walking chaos. But without further ado, let's head to Hollywood Studios. I feel so bad saying that while Corey is back there working. And if this is the first video that you're stumbling upon, I'll have our entire like Disney trip playlist linked down below. We actually just finished up an entire Disney World vacation where we were here for about four days. We did full vlog park days for each one, so you can go ahead and watch those. But without further ado, let's head to Hollywood Studios for a fun solo park day, and then we'll meet up with Corey a little bit later when he's on his lunch break. made it into Hollywood Studios. It is a scorcher. Very nice and toasty this morning in the Florida sun, but you know what? I will take a hot Disney day over a regular day at home, people. It is all about perspective. I have my nice little fan propped up here. I actually like this fan. I think, you know, so many people are like, give me the most powerful diesel fan that you can, but they're just these little portable fans. I mean, even air conditioners are not like the strongest, but I digress. I wanted to hang out with you guys. I got a cute little solo park day button. I made it myself. I thought it was cute. Mickey, I guess, is waving to you guys and he's saying hello, but I'm going to take this off. I love my little button. I thought it could be fun to like almost romanticize my little solo park day because like I said before, obviously I am by myself. Sorry, I'm a little blurry. Give me one second. So I thought it could be fun to just kind of romanticize a fun little solo park day. I say solo park day. It's 11 16 and Corey is going to be here at like one ish because he is working this morning, but we're going to meet up for lunch. But first stop on the little train was to do some pin trading. Let me show you actually the little pins that I did get. I thought we could just kind of hang and chat for a little bit. So a cute girl when I was in the, what is that main store? Like Tinseltown something. She was like, do you want to pin trade? Like, do you want to pin trade with me? And I was like, oh sister, of course. I was like, absolutely. And I was like, you know what? I don't care if she's got good pins, bad pins, fake pins. I'll trade with her because I thought it was just the cutest little thing ever. But I did do a little bit of trading on my own this morning. So I traded one of my pins for her little and she had the little thumper bunny which i thought was so cute i actually know that caitlin collects these so i was like you know what that's a really cute pin so i'm gonna go for that one then i traded on a board for this cutie little orange bird i just thought that he was kind of cute and fun different very florida-esque and then i also traded for I don't necessarily want this pin but i was like oh it's cute it's on the board so i'll just take it and it was one of the it's from like a 
like a white back or one of the little collections, the robot Mickey, there's a mini and there's a few others. So I picked up that one. It does have two on the back. So that was a good one. And then the last one I got, this was actually for Corey. I don't know if this one is one of the real ones or one of the fakers, but Corey needs it for his collection. So we went for it. It is the Star Wars Snowflake. So this is the Darth Vader. I need to see which ones that Corey like doesn't already have. You know what I mean? Like he has some, but not all. So we have to see which ones he has. So those are some of my ones that I traded for it this morning and now I just am putting the rest of my actual ones that I am willing to trade back in the trader bag which really isn't too many honestly so it looks like today we're gonna be buying some mystery boxes or one of the like charger packs because I'm definitely in need of some pins but these two I'm not sold on so I would definitely trade those and then I always keep my little camera batteries in here but Next on the little solo fun park day was I got myself a nice little refresher. I, I love the mango dragon fruit, it's my favorite. Today, I am Rihanna. I am not Brianna, but I am Rihanna the queen. So cheers to that, everybody. So good, so light, so refreshing. I will say, I wish they put a few more dragon fruit pieces in here. However, at the same time, I'm like, I don't really eat them. You know what I mean? Like I don't reach in there to grab them, but I got myself a nice little Starbucks as a treat. It is 11.18, so almost 11.20. I think the next Frozen show is maybe 11.30. Let's check right now the wait time so that we can actually see because if the next show is at 11.30, I would actually love to watch it. So let's see if we have a wait time for entertainment which is for the first time in forever. So the next Frozen show's at 11.30. So we are definitely gonna go and watch the 11.30 show because why not? I've got a little bit of time. I can walk over, drink my little Starbucks refresher, but thanks for coming along on my fun little solo day. We are traveling home today. So we'll have a little Hollywood Studios morning. I'll probably end up leaving when Corey comes after we have some lunch together. We'll probably leave together and I'll go to the pool and we'll just kind of hang out. So welcome to a fun little solo Disney Park day and our travel home day, but let's go watch Frozen Ever After sing along because that is like one of my favorite things to do here and it's no weight at all. You ready for this? I'm born ready, yeah! yeah. Oh, okay, we'll work on that. Okay. okay. <laughs> Citizens of the Kingdom of Hollywood Land, we are pleased to present to you the story of Anna and Elsa. We also cordially invite you to sing along with any of our Arendelle anthems. Now, follow along if you don't know the words. I think they know the words, right? All right. Hey, yeah. Okay, so where should we start? I got this. Let it go, let it go, don't hold it back anymore. Everybody, let, let it go. go. No, 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 we'll do that later. Who knew we owned 8,000 salad clay? You need a hug or something? Look to either side, it's not me. So, so Zach, you seen Queen Elsa? Alrighty, so we just finished up the Frozen sing-along. That, in my opinion, is like one of the best shows that Disney does. The Frozen Sing Along and Festival of the Lion King are like two of my favorites. The reason why is I love just Eric. I love the historians. I think they are so funny and I think they bring the perfect fun adult humor to Frozen. I feel like Frozen is such a good movie to be able to have those little pieces brought into it. So like I said, Frozen Sing Along, just 10 out of 10, so good. So Corey is on his way here now. It is 12.05 in the afternoon. So Corey's on his way here to do lunch. We're gonna go and visit Brandon and say hello to him because he is working from 11 to eight today. So I wanted to see him earlier in the morning. So we'll go say hi to him. Corey and I are gonna have lunch at ABC Commissary. So I'll take you along. My solo park day was only like an hour and a half to two hours of my own little me time, but it was nice to walk around, do some pin trading. I really want to, oh, Corey texted me, he's probably in the park. I would love to try the Wookie cookie from Backlot Express, so maybe we'll do that too. So either way, let's have a fun little Hollywood Studios, little afternoon. Corey should be here, I'll check my text, and then we'll go see Brady Network. When 
your solo park day with Mickey turns into getting an extra treat because Corey said, ain't no way you're going to Hollywood Studios no. <laughs> without me. So here he is. You're all backlit and like really, really dark. Fantastic. That's okay. Are you happy to be here? Yes. Yay. Corey's back. And we are ready to go see the great Brandoni. The and we're going to go see him in Tatooine Traders. Let's do it. We've never done Star Tours. I guess we could do it. It's probably like a walk on. It's probably uh, not like, minutes. yeah, it's probably not anything crazy. But we're excited to see Brandon. We won't see them for probably a while. Like, we've oh only really seen Brandon at Disney, but we're trying to get together to be able to see them. But let's go into Tatooine Traders. We'll see Brandon. We'll vlog while he's working. Let's hope he's, it's not super busy so that we can kind of like hang out and chat with him see for him a little in his bit. Element. Yeah, we could see him in his full like cast a, member getup, his, his full, full cast ramp. member element. Yeah. Like She's a Sith. Go figure. <laughs> wow. I think it's really heavy. Some of them are heavier too. Yeah. You can even complete the look with the Darth Vader. I, I look the same as I do right now. Yeah. 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 So you can use the third. on a helmet thanks to Brandon. Aye aye, Captain. Oh I don't really know who exactly it is, but. Their name's Captain Rex, I don't know who about that. Yeah, we have Brandon, who's working. So fun. What would we do without him? Hey, you look great, hon. Rock on. Well, that was so fun. We got to spend some time with Brandon. We got to try on some of the helmets, some of the lightsabers. So fun, I've never actually really been or really spent any time in Tatooine Traders before, so that was fun to be able to spend a little bit of time with him and then play with some of the lightsabers and put on some of the helmets. And it's just fun to be able to see him and his element actually like being a cast member. He's so great with people. Like, I just, Brandon, if you're watching this, I just love you and it was so fun to see you like in your full element as a cast member. Like, that was a real treat for me. That was definitely a highlight of the day. But we are now headed over to ABC Commissary. It is 12.36. Corey and I are both ready for a buffalo chicken grilled cheese and a nice Diet Coke. So I'm gonna go ahead and order those for us. Corey is using the little boy's room and then we are gonna have some lunch, go visit Brandon one more time. And then maybe we'll either get some rides done, maybe a pin, quick pin trade, and then we're gonna go back to the hotel because Corey has to continue on this little work moment. So let's go get a nice little bit of lunch and yeah, then we'll check in when we're done. We have made it into ABC Commissary. I went for the buffalo chicken grilled cheese with the farro and arugula salad. The salad is lights out, it is unbelievable. This meal right here, best in Hollywood studios in my opinion. I always get just a little side of rice because you all know I'm a rice girly so I just enjoy having it. And then Corey got the buffalo chicken grilled cheese but he got his with french fries. Corey's a steak fry kind of guy so he always gets that. And then but I always get a side of the buttermilk ranch. This way I can dip my grilled cheese in the hot buffalo sauce and then the buttermilk ranch as well. Corey just came over with some ketchup so we are ready to chow down and eat a delicious <laughs> and eat a yummy lunch. Ranch buff lunch. Or ranch buff. I said munch. Munch, that's what I was just gonna say, yeah. So, a little bit of buff. Well, I guess there's a lot of buff for me. <laughs> ranch, that second dip. Oh, it won't even stick. Or I guess I'm just mixing it in. So I did ranch first, then buff. I think that's a better choice. Cheers, everyone. All right, I have heard a lot about this Wookiee cookie from Backlot Express, but we have never tried it. I think it's two oatmeal cookies with vanilla cream on the inside, so we're gonna give it a try and let's see how it is. I told Corey he gets the honors to try it. Well, you're the bigger Star Wars fan, so you get the Wookiee cookie first bite. Oh, a lot of nuts going on in there. Nuts in an oatmeal I cookie? Wish... Oh, is it oatmeal? Well, I think they were oh. oatmeal cookies. Maybe it's nuts with oatmeal, but yeah. No, then it's definitely the oats then. I wish the cream was like thicker. Okay. Thick. Like I kind of wish it was more of like a thicker frosting consistency. Like a whoopie pie? Yeah, that's what I kind of wish. All right, let me try. This thing is also like ginormous. Okay, well that didn't stay on here long. Like, 
It's tasty, but it's not like, it's not like wowing me. I want one of them. Yeah, I want the middle. Look, or give me one cookie with the frosting on top and call it yeah, a day. It's like, which like if you look It's too at much it, cookie. Yeah. When you look at it from the middle, like that looks amazing. Right. With the filling, but I don't, I, it kind of feels a little bit, it's good, but I don't think I love it. Like I think this is like a one, a one and done. Yeah. We are headed out of studios. We no, have one more stop. Yeah, without, well, I have you my know, pinch you stops. You need that one more stop over yep, there. Yep, I need my, no, two. Oh, wait, three, no, technically, three, yeah. Technically. Three little pin board stops along the way. And then we are out of Disney. We have no trips right now, so we are just fingers crossed. Honestly, we'll probably get back once before the end of the year because we have our annual pass, so obviously we want to use them. Most likely. Most likely, because that's normally what we do. So with that, we're going to finish walking around, maybe do some little pin trading. Fingers crossed I get some good pins, and we'll see you back at Saratoga. Jedi Nikki. So Alrighty, hello everyone. I just took a nice dunk. We got back to the hotel around 2.15. So I filled up my resort mug, did a little bit of scrolling in the air conditioner, and then I came out to the pool and there's really, as you can see, a ton of empty chairs. I don't know if it's just this week in general, last week of July, like into the first week of August, but the pool is dead. It's also a Tuesday, which I'm trying to remember because we were here over the weekend and it was booked and busy. So I'm wondering if just those weekdays during the summer are definitely a lot less busy than weekdays, but having a nice little relaxing pool day, just filled up some Diet Coke. Also, how cute are these resort mugs? Like I just, I absolutely love them. I think they're adorable. And I got pink, Corey got orange at the beginning of the trip. So now we actually have all four colors because we have the other two at home. I just wanted to do a nice little check-in. I didn't bring my Kindle or AirPods or anything. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna sit here, do a nice little scrolling on the phone, probably take a little nap, a little rest. We are not leaving Saratoga Springs until 5.50 is when our bus comes, because our flight is at nine o'clock. So it's about three-ish, like pushing three o'clock. So I'll be here for a few hours, just relaxing. I got an umbrella, like a chair under the umbrella in the shade, because it was very hot today. So. Cheers, let's have a nice little relaxing afternoon at Saratoga. Well, it's the end of the trip, and we're on our way to the airport. So sad. Yeah, it's like, I'm excited to go home and like get into a routine, but I'm also sad because I never want to leave. Like every time that we're here, I'm like, oh, I want to stay. Yeah. Because it's so great. I feel like if we left on like a pouring rainy day, that would be different. But every time we leave, it's like perfect weather, sunny, grayed out. So we are headed off to the airport now. Our Mirrors shuttle is picking us up at 5.50. We're actually working with Mirrors on this trip. So thank you to Mirrors for hosting us. We ended up using Mirrors on the way here, but they were, I'm not even kidding you, so quick. We got to the shuttle. They scanned my ticket and in the shuttle we went. Didn't have a time to take a photo, didn't have nope. a time to take anything. It was so, so quick. It was perfect. So mm -hmm. didn't really get to chat about them on the way here, but we are using them on the way back as well. So our bus is supposed to be here at 5.50 and then it's going to take us directly to the airport. Five more minutes. Yeah, which is really great. So if you're new, Mirrors is basically a service. I can have their website linked down below where they will pick you up at the airport, bring you directly to your hotel. Your bags get on board. You just get to sit back and relax. And when Corey and I have a lot of bags like we do right now, I prefer Mirrors because I just find that I don't, like you never know with an uber like you can order an xl but sometimes you're a little bit cramped and also just so i like the mirrors perspective too it's so it's cost effective difference. oh yeah like i think it's 60 dollars or 68 dollars for, for the two of us round trip and that's with all your bag we are going to head off on our mirrors bus back to the airport and we will check in with you guys when we are through security We've got the whole trip to ourselves i'd rather not be on the train i know i'd rather not be leaving never want to leave off we go to our terminal. Bye Orlando. We are through security and the only thing that makes going home just a little bit better when we fly southwest is being able to get a Chipotle bowl and chips and a nice crispy Diet Coke on the way home. Well they had Pepsi at Jersey Mike's. Corey got Jersey Mike's but I got Chipotle. This is the only thing that makes going home and eases that burn just a little bit better. We're at our gate. Chipotle was good. Mike's Killed the good. burn a little. Yeah, you got a nice sandwich. Got a nice sandwich. I said, oh, Corey, what did you get? And he said, a charcuterie board on bread. A charcuterie board on bread. <laughs> that did make me laugh. <laughs> so that is it. We are ending out our Disney vlog series here. That's it. This is sad. Isn't this the worst really, part? really sad. Yeah, it is sad. Saddest it's ever been. What's that from? 
Oh, uh, it's um, from uh, Klaus, where he's like, this is bad. It's really, really oh, bad. The worst yes. I've ever seen, really. Yes. <laughs> when, 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 what is it? The crumbs and the, oh God. Oh, what's their name? I Ellen Bell. Ellen Bell, And then go. like the kids are starting to like co-mingle together and mm -hmm. the leaders are like, no. Yeah, oh, no, no, I don't so want to do this. It's just one of that. It's just from that. Yeah, well, we're going to relax and enjoy our flight leaves in the next like 30-ish minutes i think right we start boarding in 19. oh okay so we start boarding in about 20 minutes so without further ado that's going to conclude the end of this disney vlog series so make sure that if you have stuck around for the entire thing to give the video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of the upcoming disney vlogs maybe in the future maybe not i always say that at the end of every video so without further ado that's going to conclude it and we will see you guys in the next one Toodles.